In this video, you'll learn how to manually onboard a merchant with a single store on Ipaspay's portal. If you have your own CRM, reach our sales team to get an API and integrate it to onboard merchants from your own CRM. First, log into ipaspays.com. To onboard a merchant, you need to perform four simple steps. Step 1, add merchant info. Step 2, add store info. Step 3, add device. Step 4, edit parameters. After logging into the portal, select the Merchants tab. Click the Action button. And select Add Merchant. You'll land in the Merchant Info tab. Enter the merchant's DBA, name, and email address. The email address should be unique across the system as it will be used as the login ID. And any information regarding the merchant will be sent to the entered email. Enter the zip code and select from the drop-down. The area and city will appear automatically. Make sure you enter the phone number correctly as any update regarding the merchant will be sent to the same. Enter the merchant's EBT ID to accept EBT cards. Enable or disable modules and privileges according to your merchant's needs. For example, enable Cloud POS for merchants who use virtual terminal. If you have agent and merchant reference ID in your CRM then enter the same in the respective fields. This will act as a bridge between the system and your CRM and help reconcile data. Click Add Store. And all the entered information will be saved automatically. Now you'll land in the Add Store section. This section exists for merchants who do business in multiple locations. As you can see, the as same as merchant address is checked and all the info from the merchant info section is carried over. Select the merchant category code according to the VR sheet as any difference might lead to transaction failure. If the merchant's store address is different then uncheck the box and manually enter all the details. If the merchant does business in multiple locations, then you can add multiple stores under the same merchant. Watch the add store video to learn how to do it. Finally, click Add Device. Under Add Device section, select the manufacturer based on the solution that you are offering to your merchants. Select Cloud POS for Virtual Terminal. Android Phone for Tap on Phone Solution. Q and P Series based on the device model. Under Device Model, select the device that you are offering to your merchant. The Assign Template dropdown will be empty if you are onboarding a merchant for the first time. But once you onboard your first merchant you can save it as a template and use it for all the merchants with similar requirements. In this video, we'll learn to configure using TSYS processor. If you wish to learn for other processors, we have hosted separate videos for all the respective processors, please refer to them. Note down the value inside the TPNS box, as it will be your device's identifier. Device label is for easy identification of the device. Using the label, merchant can identify the device without remembering the TPN. Enter the bin using the VAR sheet information. Next is setting up a fee profile. If you click the drop down, you will see two fee profiles, with fee and without fee. If you set up only the with fee profile, then all the transactions will be processed under with fee. If you set up only the without fee profile, then all the transaction will be processed under without fee. To enable dual MID, which allows merchants to seamlessly toggle between with fee and without fee, you need to set up both the fee profiles. First, click with fee and fill in all the required fields using the VAR sheet. Enter the ABA number, settlement agent, and debit sharing group to accept debit cards. If the fields are left unfilled then the merchant cannot process debit cards. The data you entered will be saved automatically, so once you finish the with fee profile click the drop down and go to without fee. Fill in all the details. Then, click finish. Now the merchant is successfully created. Now you need to edit your merchant's device parameters. 
Click the Merchants tab and enter the merchant's name or DBA or phone to find the merchant. Click on the merchant's TPN and select Edit Parameters. You'll land in the Parameters tab. As you can see, all the parameters are unified under headers such as Receipt, Tips and Taxes, Transaction, Settlement, Fee, Value Add, Integration, Miscellaneous, and EMV. Once you finish editing the parameters, you can click the Save as Template button and use it as a template for all your similar merchants. To use the saved template, you can either assign it while creating the merchant in the Devices section or by clicking the Assign Template drop-down in the Parameters sections. To learn about all the parameters in detail, watch our Edit Parameters video. Thanks for watching.